Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side, and I'm here in Blackpool. I'm on New South Promenade, just by the Pleasure Beach here. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about something that's happening on the beach. Yeah, apparently, Blackpool is losing its sand. <laughs> Yeah, so there was a report last week about sand erosion on Blackpool Beach, but around the piers, apparently the piers are losing the depth of sand underneath the supports, and they reckon they could be in danger of collapsing if uh, a long-term plan is put in place to do something about it, to stop the sand washing away from underneath. Now the South Pier is actually the worst affected with three metres, yes, three metres of sand going missing. It goes down to 1.5 metres at the Central Pier and I think down to one metre missing at the North Pier. Yeah, so how about that? The sand is washing away from Blackpool Beach. Anyway, let's just show you a little bit of Blackpool Promenade before I head down onto the beach towards the South Pier. We'll check it out for ourselves, shall we? Oh, look at that, folks, the big one. That's Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I tell you what, I can't believe how busy it is in Blackpool today. Look at all these cars parked along the promenade here. Wow, it's a very busy Friday in Blackpool. And uh, let's have a little look out over the sea, shall we, before we head to the South Pier. Oh, just check this out, folks. Looking south here. Oh, you can even see whales over there in the distance. Snowdonia looks spectacular over there. I don't know if it shows up on your screen, but I can see it with my own eyes. It looks absolutely amazing. So this is how the beach looks in front of the Pleasure Beach. And I want to take a wander over towards the South Pier, just over here. And we'll see what it's like underneath the structure there. Any evidence of the sand washing away? I tell you what, what a day today. Can you believe it? Look at this weather. It is absolutely amazing. There's people here sunbathing on the beach. And uh, I tell you what, we've had a bit of rotten luck with the weather over the last sort of uh, six weeks or so. But uh, yeah, it looks like people are really taking advantage of it now. We've obviously got the school holidays. I'm walking towards the South Pier. And what I want to do is I want to just read out from this article. I'll put a link to it in the description. Sand loss may threaten foot the footings of Blackpool's piers. This is all the piers, and the South Pier is the worst affected. A decline in sand levels around Blackpool's piers is a significant issue that could threaten their footings, the owner has said. The loss of sand around the steel footings of North, Central and South Piers has accelerated in the last 15 years. There goes the big one again. <laughs> So in the last 15 years, it's accelerated. The level of the beach has dropped up to three meters since the structures were built more than 100 years ago. The South Pier was completed just before the tower. So it says here that a recent 3D image of the South Pier compared to a photograph of the pier from the time it opened in 1893 shows much more of the steel footings are above the beach level, which means that a lot of the sand has washed away yeah so i mean why is the sand washing away is it is it just natural um erosion you know here's a thing that i was thinking of now i might be completely wrong here it could be completely bonkers but they've been taking sand away from St Anne's beach you know the um where the sand dunes are if you go down the sand dunes there's like a care home um i think it's called the thursby care home now wagons go in there day in day out i'm not sure if they're still doing it actually but they have been doing it over the last couple of decades maybe more than that could that be the reason why the sand when you think how much sand there is on the beach there's an enormous amount of sand on the beach but if you're taking tons and tons of it away every day day in day out over decades is that going to cause the uh, the sand to disappear from the beach. I mean, I know that's down at St Anne's, of course, it's a long way from here, but when they take a load of sand off the beach, there's a hole that needs to be filled, so the, the sand has to come from somewhere to fill in the hole, and eventually it could affect the I mean, it could be complete. I don't know. 
Am I being <laughs> is it completely wacky? I do not know, but I'm just trying to suggest what could be um, um, one of the problems. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Just look at that, folks. Listen to the sound of the sea. The tide is coming in right now, and I tell you what, Blackpool Beach is very, very up and down. The sand is always shifting all the time. And uh, we're going to take a look at the South Pier. Now, the Pier Company have been onto the council. The council have been awarded 57 million uh, to repair the, you know, the seawall here. Not so much at this end because I think the seawall's okay at this end, but it's more on the central part of the seawall where some of the sand has come away from the bottom of the, uh, you know, the steps in front of the tower and places like that. It's eroded from there, you see. So they need to do something about that. I think the pier company were wondering if they could use some of that money to uh, to prop up the uh, the struts on the pier. Anyway, we're getting close to the South Pier now, so let's take a closer look and see what it's like under there, shall we? I'm trying to beat the tide because the tide is coming in at the moment. <laughs> Uh, I want to get there before the tide comes in around it. Okay, so I've made it along here now. We're behind the sandcastle there. And as I turn around this way, you'll see the South Pier here. You might want to look at some old photographs maybe and see what you think. Because uh, apparently, these struts here are showing a lot more than they used to. And that's what they did that modelling on. So they're looking for ways to, I didn't manage to beat the tide, but the tide, I wanted to walk down the back, but unfortunately I wasn't quite quick enough. But uh, there's a few people here making uh, a use of the tides coming in, making use of the nice weather as well. But yeah, here we are at the back of the South Pier, and as you can see, we've got all these rides on here. We've got the crazy coaster up there. That's a really fun looking roller coaster, that. And it's the shortest pier as well in Blackpool. They have a lot of fun fair rides on there. So we're just looking at the main structure, which actually looks pretty solid. I have to say, the structure does look pretty solid. I hope that music doesn't pick up on the copyright. But apparently, yeah, the, um, <clears throat> the legs are being much more exposed than they used to when they first built it. What do you think, folks? Is it going to fall down? So there you go, what do you think? Yeah, the uh, foundations of the piers here in Blackpool are starting to show because the sand is disappearing beneath them. What do you think, folks? Remember, I put a link in the description if you want to read the article for yourself. But they're looking to put in long-term plans. They're not going to fall down anytime soon, of course, but they're looking to make sure that they're going to still be here in another 100 or so years. Anyway, I hope you like this video, a bit of a news video for you today. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.